Welcome to the kitchen. Here we are, my favorite place to be. So, this is a, I think it's some sort of a barbecue board. So I poured on one last night or the night before and I didn't do a video, but I'll show you my end result. I think it came out pretty nice. And we're gonna try to do the same tonight. So let's see if I can get you in focus. So there's last night's board or the night before. So my plan is to maybe stain or varnish that and give it a nicer, richer edge or edge look. My edges are all been taped, so they're pretty clean. And yeah, I'm happy with it. Super fun, uh, super inexpensive. $4 at the Dollarama in Canada. And yeah, you know, it's pretty hard to find a substrate to paint on for $4. You know, it's uh, something completely different. Okay, here we go. Gloves on. This is the third time I've tried to video, you guys. Third time. So, if my daughter comes up, unless somebody's bleeding, I am not rescuing anybody. I don't care if the cat's stuck in the tree. I don't care if they can't find their hairbrush. I don't care if they paid too much for apples. I am not rescuing anybody unless they are bleeding. That's the new thing. My daughter is amazing. My daughter has this weird sixth sense that something's going on in the kitchen. She can be downstairs for hours and hours and hours. And the minute I video, she comes up. Guaranteed. Okay, let's swipe this, you guys. So last night, my video, I was on a rambling session about being old. And I gotta tell you, you guys, it was so much fun to have all of your comments and your uptake and your input on the getting old. It was super fun. I got up this morning and I went on to YouTube for a couple minutes before I came to work or went to work. And yeah, I just, I laughed and I chuckled and you guys get it. We, you know what? It happens to all of us. It's just, it sucks. It's not fun. Look at that goopy bit. It's not fun at all. And you know, at the end of the day, I'm really, I'm very grateful for my life. I am healthy and happy and I have an amazing family and they're all really close. And yeah, it just, it's just not the same, you guys. We're not 20 anymore. So here we go with wobbly arms and gray hair and creepy skin on our neck and muffin tops, and the girls where they just don't, don't sit where they used to, and here we are. Let's just paint. Let's paint and be happy and have fun, you guys. Have fun. So thank you. Thank you to everybody that made comments, because it really was, it was super fun for me. I got a good chuckle before I went to work. It was, uh, I don't know my topic of the evening so tomorrow or the following day we're going to make some pouring medium because I'm almost out and it is a question that I get asked quite frequently still how I make my pouring medium even though it is in one of the videos but it's quite a long ways back so rather than redirect anybody we're going to do it all tomorrow and make some pouring medium and go from there because you know I make my the same medium. I use it for all the different types of pours. I just change the consistency according to the pour. And it doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to have Liquitex and you don't have to have Dinko pouring medium and you don't have to have the glue. You just, you really only need to have one pouring medium and alter it from there. I've lost my black cell mix, so now I'm on a big rambling spiel because I don't know what to do. I found it. I found it, I found it. So I'm going to swipe in black to begin with. I might swipe in both. I might swipe in black and white. You just never know. But let's start with black. This is, you know, I think we've all been there and I'm still there. I'm learning right along with you guys. I really am. And I know exactly how overwhelming it is to watch countless YouTube videos and every single artist puts something else in their medium or something different 
and you know, no, you got to have this, you got to have that. And it's, I get it. I absolutely get it. When I first started, I bought tons of stuff, tons and tons of stuff. And each time I bought new stuff, I figured, okay, this is going to be the stuff that works for me. And eventually I did find what worked for me. And then I just kind of adapted it from there. And I have used it for all kinds of different pores. Although I'm not a pro at any of them by any means, because I am, like I said, I'm still learning, but I, uh, I've done a few of the other types. All right. Should we put some weight in here, guys, or should we just, let's just tilt it and see what happens. So I didn't bring you guys close up because my last video, every time I moved my hand closer to the camera, it went out of focus. So I, I know I'm back really, really far with this. And I think that this is just the way it has to be for tonight for this funny length board whatever we're going to call this and as soon as we're done tipping and tilting i will bring you down and you can see closer i'm going to take a little bit off that side i think i taped the bottom of this too because Last night when I did the other board and I thought, oh yeah, I'm not going to make a mess. Well, yeah, you know what happens when you say that or when you think you're not going to make a mess or you're not going to get paint on your clothes. Yeah, yeah, you're covered. I know you are because I am too. So I was pretty wily with this piece and I taped the back. My cup lids are falling over. Okay, let's uh, stop there. Because less is more. Let's fix some of these little blotchy things that I got going on here. So I got to work today and there's a big note out on the staff door. But we are now required to wear the full face masks. And I work in the hospital so I absolutely first handedly understand why. But it was so, it was so disappointing. We, uh, you know, we've had a pretty good run of being COVID free in the facility that I work in. And you had to go in and see that it was like this false sense of security was just, it was gone. I need to do something with this. Cause don't forget, I don't, I don't really know what, how far up there we can go. So let's, uh, let's swipe it in white just to kind of pull Let's pull some of this up a little bit. Hmm. I don't really even know how much. Oh yeah, there's there's the wood there. All right. So let's cover that back up. Okay, I kind of think it needs some more contrast down at the bottom a little bit. So let's just take our popsicle stick and our paint gray, which is really, really thick tonight. So let's, first of all, let's thin that out a tiny bit. Consistency of paints is a big thing too, guys, that we talk about, and it's really hard for anybody to tell you how thick your paints are because we all like our paints different thicknesses. My paints are really, really thick. Sorry, guys. Um, and so 
You know, warm honey is always what people say. My, my paints are more like cold honey. Right out of the kitchen cupboard where you have to like really give that bottle a big squeeze. I'll show you. See if I can see if I can get in frame without slopping anything. That's about how thick my paint is. It uh it leaves a pile, like it's not even a mound. It's it it piles up. And that's how thick I like it for blooms, and that's how thick I like it for spikes. But we're all different. All right, let's add some contrast in here. All right, now, 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 now. Sorry guys, this is normally I'm on like zoomy speed, but I'm not tonight. I don't feel like zooming. I just feel like dawdling around. Okay, let's swipe it. Let's swipe it in white. So I started talking about this mask. I never did finish my story. I thought, where was I going with that? Um, I took my mask, my, my safety shield mask home, and I cut a few pieces up because I thought maybe they would make really good swiping plastics. But if I can find one, I would show you, but I can't. They're really, really thin, like really thin. And so they're like wobble, wobble, wobble. Yeah, I don't have another piece cut. Oh, here I do, on the floor. And it's almost invisible. So this is how flimsy it is. So when I tried to swipe with that, it was just, it didn't work. Just did not work whatsoever. All right, I think I'm happier with that, I think. Add, let's actually add a little more. Okay, another quick tilt, and then I'll quit farting around with this piece. All right, my friends, we are going to stop right there. Pretty fun, I think. And like I said, four bucks. Four bucks to paint on this cool board for just something completely different. And that's really all I'm doing is I'm just finding some different substrates that are super cheap to paint on. And yeah, we can do it. Don't have to make, don't have to break the bank, you guys. You really don't. All right, I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to show you this piece. And then, well, actually, while that piece is still sitting there, I will show you last night's piece. See, now I'm gapping out. I don't remember if I showed you last night's piece or not. Did I show you to start with? Oh, heavens. I don't know. You guys, I've told you, I've tried a video three times. So I'm going to show you right now again, all over again. So if you've already seen it, ignore it. But there it is. That's last night's piece. Lots of funky white lacing. Yeah, nice, clean, crispy lines from the tape. The sides were all taped. This one's dirty in the back. 
but it will sand off. All right, my friends, that's it. Poor happy. Stay well, you guys. And we shall talk really soon within the next couple of days and let's make some medium. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring you over. I'm gonna do like a sail past. Yeah, look at all these fun things. All right, my friends, take care. Bye for now.